let's talk about virtual showings. The way we're going to be able to connect with a house, okay? And I've given some pointers for sellers on how to make their curb appeal stand out so that you, you as a buyer, when you drive by, can maybe connect with the house from that perspective. But this is for strictly for anybody who's looking to buy. Could be You could own a home right now and be wanting to sell and then buy. So you can use this virtual showing guide. I've enhanced it, okay, uh, a little bit. I did have one of these out there about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. I enhanced it. And I put it inside of a buyer program. It's, it's called the Ninja Buyer Course. Um, it's in cre I'm creating it right now. But if you go to TomMcGivern.com slash Ninja, you'll see it. It's pretty, uh, it's going to be awesome. And the content is excellent. So check that out. But the I enhanced this virtual showing guide because it needed a little bit more, uh, especially for that type of program where I'm helping people really narrow down how to learn how to buy a house. Um, but you need, you're going to need to go into your virtual showings. The, the most important thing is knowing what is most important to you. So you've got to know what's most important to you and then do the virtual showing. Whereas before you could go into houses and figure things out. Um, it's not really, really work that way. You're going to need to know, Hey, what's most important to me when you approach a virtual showing, whether that's a live phone call on a zoom call where you're doing video conferencing with the owner or it's looking over an actual pre-recorded video of the house. So 10 things, right? We're gonna look at, focus on your kitchens, bathrooms, and closets. How important are they for you? Sp you know, spend extra time on the video tours uh, when you're doing those. And ask to you know, really get close-ups of the appliances and get close-ups in, in, even in the closets. You know, right? well, you know, where am I gonna put my stuff? How many closets are there? That type of stuff. Um, second is ventilation in the attic. Again, you know, you might not think that this is a big deal and that doesn't help you get a connection with the property. However, knowing that it's well insulated, it's a good thing if the owner can get a little video of that, that would be great. This is again, prior to your inspection, you can make an offer and it has happened. You make an offer and you spend 500 bucks only to find that the inspection turns out some bad stuff you don't like. And the next thing you know, you're out 500 bucks because it's buyer beware, right? Um, you put the money down to, uh, to make it, uh, get that home inspection you can find out these things after the fact. So if you can get a little video of these things, it'd be good. Um, now I put down drafty draftness in the house. So depending on the age, the insulation could be original, right? If the homeowner can give you the last 24 months of your heating bill, this is referred to as the truth in heating bill or truth in heating law. And um, it originally, I think originally applied to renters, but it is across the board. And um, if you go to um, utilityproject.org, uh, you'll find Truth in Heating Law. It's a PDF copy. And uh, on my 10-step sh uh, virtual showing guide, I do have the link here, which you can get if you go to tommcgivern.com slash ninja. Um, so, yeah, you can request the last two years of the heating bill in the house. It's awesome. That's a great thing to, to uh, be aware of as a buyer. How does that help you with your virtual showing? Because you're not going to be able to go inside. You, you can't experience the inside of the home. Well, it's good to know, hey, what's their, their, their bills like for heating their house? Is it cozy? Is it warm, et cetera? Do they have a you know, wood-burning fireplace? Where is it? How does it help heat the house? That type of stuff. Okay, doors. This is another one you'd think are a big deal. But hey, how do the doors open and shut, right? Including the closets, right? Have the homeowner in the video. Open some doors, close them, and see how things, you know, get that feel of the house. Do the whole wood floors, you know, um, how are they looking in general? Do they make like uh, creaking sounds, stuff like that? Again, that's not necessarily bad or good. It's just to get the feel of the home. That's why I believe in video over these fancy 3D tours that everyone's talking about, which are, are important, uh, especially as for a seller. You know, you want your house to look really nice, get these 3D things, they're really cool, but the video will give you the feel of the house more so than that 3D technology. So how, did, how does the house sound when the homeowner's walking through it? Good stuff. Uh, run the water. I have them run the water in the kitchens, you know, the shower, the tub. Um, how does water pressure look? How does it sound? That's, you know, again, getting the feel of the house. Then also the, tr the uh, general layout. Now this is where the, the, you know, the 3D technology, it's called Matterport. 
uh, can really help. That is a really good thing because you get to see the whole house um, through like this virtual 3D viewing. And um, that can be very cool. But if the person's doing a video, again, you're, they're gonna need guidelines, you know, starting at the front door and moving through the house, going back to certain parts and then, you know, starting uh, from a same position to a different part of the house, very important. Hopefully, you know, you can help guide that in your virtual showing. Um, again, I talked about getting close-ups. You wanna get close-ups of the areas that are most important to you, what interests you. That's why knowing what is uh, most important to you before you do these things is key. Um, and then, you know, like, so for instance, of the garage, is it spacious? You know, does, well, do they have one? Is it important to you to have one? Um, how, how big is it? Uh, those types of things. You'll ask to spend more time in the places that you are most interested in. And then the non-virtual. I put this on here because it's part of your viewing, which is you have to do a drive-by. And you have to do as many drive-bys as it takes to get a feel for the house, the neighborhood, the street, all that. Um, so right now, I'm instructing my, my buyer clients, you have to drive by a house. Super important. 